Today, we are going to have a vocabulary lesson so that we all so that we are all talking about the same thing when we decide we're going to talk about quilts. Because when I'm behind the counter, oftentimes at the store, somebody will come in and say, I need some fabric for my binding. And they're not talking about a binding. Or I need some background fabric. And they're not talking about the background. So I figure we should start in the very beginning. Of, so we're all talking about the same thing and we know what things are called. This is a quilt. But you all probably already knew that. So what, what are the different parts of a quilt? Main part is going to be your blocks. There are different types of blocks. This happens to be some machine applique blocks that I did on, the, on our embroidery machine. This is a very simple nine patch block um, that was pieced. Most quilts consist of pieced blocks. Some people like applique, um, paper piecing. There's other ways of making blocks, but these are two very basic blocks. Between the blocks, you get sashing. You don't always have sashing in a quilt. Some quilts don't have sashing. Um, if it does, that's the part between the blocks. The part around the outside of the blocks, or around the center, because sometimes you'll have a panel and no blocks, these would be, this is the border. This quilt happens to have two borders, the inner border and the outer border. Sometimes it's referred to as the first border or the second border and so on. You can have three, four, five borders. Anybody that's ever made a Thimbleberries quilt is very familiar with the amount of borders that you can put on a quilt. Now you might be tempted to think that this first border or inner border is the sashing because it's the same fabric. But in technical terms, it is not. It is a border because it's going around the quilt. This portion here is the binding. The binding is that last step. So if you're bringing your quilt in to be quilted, you don't want to put the binding on. And I've had this in before where people will call me, what do I need to do? I'm just bringing me in the top of the quilt. And don't bother with the binding. And I had one lady not put the last border on because she thought that was the binding. Imagine her surprise when it came off the machine and she wanted to add another six inches to her quilt. It's doable, it's a pain in my butt, but we can do it. That being said, the backing is the back of the quilt. The backing and back. Oft, sometimes can get fused with the background. Background will refer to the background fabric in a quilt. This quilt here really doesn't have a background fabric. You could technically say that this black here is the background, but being because it is more black than the green, technically speaking, but if you were looking at this from a um, design standpoint, you may say that the green is the background because it's lighter than the black. That's really kind of a, a personal thing and I wouldn't get hung up there too much. It's important just remember that's a block. And if you are talking about the background, it's in the block where the backing is on the back of the quilt. Now we're going to just move this quilt for a second. And there's a couple things on the quilt behind it that we want to talk about. You can also get what they call, what we call cornerstones. Cornerstones are little pieces put in the corners of your sashing to add a little bit more interest. Uh, sometimes there'll even be mini quilt blocks in here, but when referring to a cornerstone, it's where the sashing intersects at the corners of the blocks. Um, and you'll notice here the cornerstones actually extend out into the inner border. So this is now considered the border Though it is a cornerstone, it is in the border here. This is not the sashing because, again, it's on the outside of the blocks. And this is a good quilt as well because you can see these blocks here are actually printed panels, not necessarily pieced. And you have piecing here. That's the basic anatomy of a quilt. Puts us all on the same page if we're trying to talk about a quilt. So when you come in here looking for binding fabric, I know you're talking about this guy here and not this white here. And when you want background fabric, Again, you're talking about the white here in the blocks and not the white on the back, which in this case happens to be the same. So if we did screw that up, you'd still be all right. <clears throat> and that concludes today's lesson. If you have any questions, comments, any of that stuff, feel free to put it in the comments below. Um, subscribe. We're going to be doing some more of these videos. And any questions that you may have, we'll be happy to um, address those. Thanks for watching.